Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot. And uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for a Aquarius uh, star sign. And for that, reason, for that reason, the reading itself is going to relate into different things and as well uh, is going to resonate in a different ways for every single different Aquarius. If you want uh, a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to uh, obtain a prediction for it and for its future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So uh, that being set aside, going to the Aquarius this weekly reading here, the first card, which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the full card, followed by the second one, uh, which is the negative approach towards the situation that is going to be the five of pentacles. Then the third card for you, Aquarius, is this is going to be the positive approach towards the situation. We do have the three of pentacles. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, we do have the Judgment card. So for what it seems, Aquarius, is we do have a brand new beginnings for you guys that are starting here at uh, from the 1st to 6th of April 2019. That is displayed by the full card, which everybody knows that it regards to a new beginning, but that is a new beginning which requires a the leap of faith. What the full card represents is that one is going to have a, their goal, all right? How one is going to get to their goal, it's, it's not important at that stage as the importance of the goal itself. So you need to, how can I place it, visualize uh, your goal and allow, and allow the lights of it to illuminate your path moving on forward meaning you have to give an expression to your idea, being lighthearted and as well uh, showing unaffectedness, uh, un unaffectedness, I think it is, towards situations, so situations does not affect you in, any, in a negative way, you know, being kind of like detached from them and as well you have to um, Present yourself very creative as well when it comes to the full card. It's very difficult to explain it, but the card says that life is going to be uh, an art. Art is going to be a muse. And from that muse, you are to define your new path or rather like your new beginning from it. Uh, with the full card, you can expect a lot of creative chaos, especially if we're talking about career-wise. It could be a, a new proposition for a job or the new job that you are going to start, where you are to have a little clue of what you go, what you are going to do in there. But the job itself is going to be a music and amusing, and from there, you know, with your creative chaos, you are to inspire everybody around. And uh, relationship-wise, this card relates to really good. Um, interaction, carefree interaction with someone that a hey, much more than just friendship can emerge. But in generally, guys, the fool asks you to not be uh, concerned with the current setbacks, especially with the five of pentacles on a negative position, which we are going to talk in a minute, but instead being focused and attending to the overview, to the grand scheme of things, to the final goal at that at that stage and taking the leap of faith and traversing the threshold which keeping you which is keeping you from the very first steps toward that goal the accompanied card this is going to be the tower and uh, the formation is a active friends so definitely uh, we are talking about a, a very storming and powerful new beginning here with the tower card allowing you to restructure and rebuild your life the way you want it, uh, the tower card with the um, represent with the combination of uh, the full card, it does point to a crisis which is going to uh, keep you unaffected. All right, so you are not gonna feel that crisis at all, and at the same time, the crisis itself is going to allow you to make that new beginning in your life. 
meaning you know um, your marriage is in the rocks it doesn't work very well you have nothing in it anymore and your wife or your husband do your job asking you for a divorce while you plan to ask that um, after a while you know or you didn't know how to approach it well then they did your job and now you can truly embark in your life that is just one version of interpretation but with these cards uh, it does look like that um, how can i place it the the hard and or the dirty job is gonna be done for you and all that it takes for you is to take advantage of it and push on forward or it could manifest itself in a different way you know you may want to ask for a divorce you don't know how and suddenly you find out that your husband or your wife is cheating on you and there is your prerequisite you know you ask for divorce and from there uh, you embark a new beginning in your life same goes career-wise you know the circumstances can be numerous but the thing is that you are going to have that circumstance allowing you to to basically stir your life into a direction that you want and that is going to be quite of a an amusing direction uh, in generally, these cards are pointing as well that this new beginning is going to offer a lot of nurturing and a lot of growing and as well will allow you to rebuild your life back again in the sense of that if uh, something uh, recently in the past have been lost, you, you can definitely not get it back, you know, but rebuild around it. Um, in the same in the same fashion so if you lost your marriage for example these cards could point to a new marriage which is going to be a bigger one you know a new beginning that is going to be a bigger one or if you lost your job recently then these cards are pointing that the new job the new job offer that you're going to get this week is going to present you with a even a bigger opportunity However, going to the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles here shows that the process of reaching the goal marked by the Four, which is the new beginning, is not going to be uh, without any problems. So there are going to be predicaments here and there. Small predicaments, but yet predicaments. And they are going to be more than just one. So these predicaments could cause a, a feeling that this um, new beginning of yours or this new direction of yours of life, that is, it's a bit, it's unstable, insecure, and very, very uncertain, that is. So what here, what you need to do in order to overcome the five of pentacles is to have a, a very acute, logical and analytic mind instead of giving yourself to the emotion that you may not be able to make it. So basically with this card into that position, all that it is asked from you is to believe that you can make it, that you can overcome those small predicaments that are arising here and there and as soon as you overcome those predicaments the clearance is going to be huge in front of you either regarding career or either regarding relationship life the accompanied card that is the knights of uh, wands the formation here it is a, a passive neutrals so it does look like that there is only one way for you to really do the right thing and this way is going to be pretty obvious for you so there is no need for you to experiment in any way and that particular way is not going to be the easy way around but rather the tough way around but once you overcome the tough way around moving on forward from there it doesn't look like that there is going to be anything to bring you down and pretty much what it looks like is that new begin this new beginning the hard work the tough job has to be done in the very initiative state of it and it begins with you capitalizing on this situation that had to be very destructive but it turns out to be very um but it turns out to be a situation of a, a huge growth for you and that gives you the means and the prerequisites to force a that new beginning into your life and this new a uh, new direction or this new goal of yours that is 
Um, <clears throat> the third card, which is the positive approach to all the situation, it is Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles points to cooperation. It does point as well that you are to have people who are to support you throughout your development. So um, if I have to give you an example of that, let's say that you start a new job here and there are um, small issues in that job, meaning you are not very aware how you should perform into, um, into the job itself or you are unprepared to perform based on the level of performance required from you. Well, your co-workers with this card are going to be more than willing to help you fit into this uh, new working place. All that it is going to be taken from you is to basically take uh, take that help. Now, this help is going to involve a lot of criticism. So you may not expect that these people are going to be uh, are going to approach you in a milder fashion, pointing you the uh, the mistakes and the errors that you are doing, but rather they are going to be a little bit harsh. But this is um, out of love in a sense of that uh, you know they are doing it in such a fashion so you don't repeat the same mistake twice because repeating the same mistake twice really is going to put you into a very awkward position and you're going to gen in generally look very very bad in front of your supervisor or in front of your boss additionally to that this card points that there will be a lot of fruitful conversations um in between you and your colleagues or in between you and your new uh person of interest for a relationship. Uh, these uh, conversations are meant to reach a common ground, to meant to reach a, uh, a, an agreement and an understanding how the things are to proceed from now on. So what is needed here is not to bail out from these conversations. And even if there are uh, any differences in between you and your coworkers, in between you and uh, the people that are involved into this new uh, new direction of yours, this new beginning of yours, either romantic interest, you know, or new social circle, uh, you always need to seek, you know, where instead of where you are um, having differences among one another, where you do have a, a point of contact with one another, because the points of contacts are going to be more than the differences. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands. So the formation, once again, it is a uh, passive neutrals and it looks like that pretty much the direction, once again, is going to be just one with uh, this card. As soon as you start cooperating with these people, the, the margin for error is going to diminish close to zero and it doesn't look like that you are to do any foolish moves, any stupid mistakes or place yourself in an awkward situation uh, and uh, being ashamed from your actions. So it, it, to me, Aquarius is, it looks like a, a week where you are to find, um, it's not even about finding, it is more like uh, embarking a, a path where your life all of a sudden will start worth living again. And you are to be very happy guys that out of the, the chaos, out of the havoc, these prerequisites and circumstances um, have arised that allowed you to actually um, embark a, a, new, uh, a new path or a new road for yourself. Uh, now that comes to my mind another example, which is a, a very, uh, you know, kind of like grim example. So uh, let's say that um, you lose your house uh, for an accident, you know, for example, while you're at work, a, a fire uh, starts and kind of incinerates your house, but you do have a, um, what is called, um, you basically uh, put a warranty on it. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, I it, uh, The word just jumped out of my mind. So uh, basically, you know, you get, yeah, it's a warranty. So yeah, so you, you do make a warranty for it and you get the money from that warranty. And uh, after that, you find even a better house for the money from, uh, from, this, uh, from this warranty. So what my point here, Aquarius, is, is that out of uh, what it seems crisis, a, like a phoenix, a new beginning uh, emerges and embarks. 
which new beginning once again is gonna make uh, your life all of a sudden start worth living uh, once again. And uh, finally, should you follow the guidance of Tsaro here, which means not allowing all, all that it takes, it's not allowing the small obstacles along the way to persuade you off that path and allowing to cooperate with people, listen to their cr constructive criticism, judgment emerges and judgment points that you are to uh, find a true way of yours or rather like you are to embark the true way of yours because this is about the judgment card you become one with your environment the pieces of the puzzle falls together union and reunion cooperation the shaft falls into the hub all right and everything start works like a, a very well uh constructed mechanism so it is likely at the end of the week that your job is going to move very very smoothly and very well with a long-term prospect same goes for your relationship as well and with the judgment it is likely that you are going to find a resolutions to an issues which are troubling you for a, a quite quite a lot of time but until this very moment you simply did not have the means and the prerequisites necessary in order to resolve those issues but once again out of the crisis here the new beginning emerges which gives you those prerequisites and those means the accompanied card here that is the nine of cups and the formation is active enemies so it seems that you are not going to be satisfied with that position as well knowing that you can go for so much more so what we can see here for you Aquarius is, is that this new beginning it is just one milestone all right you you reach that goal of this new beginning by the end of the week that is so let's say uh, you know this is a new law of interest and things are happening really really fast in between you and uh, you and this uh, law of interest and by the end of the week you're finding it's uh, you're finding each other into a relationship and you realize that this relationship isn't enough you know and you have to start working toward for example living together or um, being into an engagement and, and marrying and having children and so on and so forth it's just the prospects are gonna look so so bright for you of course with the judgment uh, everything needs to be executed according to personal harmony in a sense of that you should not force the things but always follow the uh, the signs of the universe whenever the time is right it is only when you um, incorporate yourself because the judgment once again is like a, a wake-up call and only when the call comes then it is one needs to answer no no uh, no earlier than that, no later than that as well. So Aquarius says, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And it does look like that for you, things are going to turn out for the better for throughout this week. It does look like that you are to embark a, a new beginning in your life, which new beginning is going to not just end an era of a turmoil and an era of problems, but out of those problems, instead of those problems bringing you down, they actually are to give you the means necessary in order for you to improve your life substantially so yeah that being said this was your uh, weekly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was a general reading for aquarius star sign and uh, for that reason this reading will relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different aquarius if you want a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you its predictions for its future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye.